Horns Auto Repairs here again from Kent in the UK. Uh, just making another little cheesy little video for you. Uh, today's subject is oscilloscopes. Um, I think we all know that we all need an oscilloscope these days. Um, I've been looking to get one for my Foxwell GT80 Plus um, that I got from Gendan. Uh, nice bit of kit, um, does everything. Um, but at the moment it retails for about £495 which I think is a little bit steep. I think it's a bit more than I wanted to pay at the moment considering I don't know if I'd use it a great deal. Um, but I was looking through the um, for sale ads today and advertised locally there was an old analogue uh, oscilloscope for 50 quid. So I thought, well I don't know, it might have some uses for the automotive um, application sort of thing. So I went and purchased it and let's see what we got. Right, this is the Kili. Um, I reckon this is about probably about 30 years old. Um, I think these date from the 80s. Um, it's a Tektronix 2205. Um, there's quite a few videos on these on YouTube already. Um, but uh, yeah, let's, let's power it up. It's already plugged in. Um, let's see if we can switch it on. It's a two channel scope, 20 megahertz. Um, let's have a look, it's going to both channels. I'm sorry about the glare. I think we've. Let me turn the. Uh, that's because I've got the, the light on as well. There we go. Um, two channel. You can move them up and down nicely. There you go. And the second channel. Uh, you've got intensity controls, you've got uh, your range controls there for your voltages. It goes down to like 5 millivolts, 10 millivolts, 20 millivolts, 50 millivolts, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 1, 2, 5, 10, and 20 volts there. Same on channel 2. Um, time base, it goes right down from that's very slow five seconds per division each one of these divisions will then be five seconds and you've got two seconds one second half a second and then it goes right up oh, let's get the glare out of the screen it goes right down to you've got ten I think it goes to milliseconds and microseconds. I don't know whether you can see that on there. But um, yeah, let's, uh, let's turn channel 1 off for a minute, channel 2 off. We don't need that. Um, with zero, that on there. And at the moment, we've got it on. Um, what's that? That's five, five, that five volts per division, I believe that is. So what we've got down here is it only comes with one probe, one test lead. Um, but on this one test lead, you've got two settings. It's got two attenuator settings. It's got um, the standard standard one times and it's also got 10 times attenuator as well so this this is actually rated up to about 500 volts dc um so i've got a little battery this is the battery on there and at the moment if i focus on the screen that's at zero volts and when i touch the battery it jumps up there so you're looking about two volts two volts per division at the moment so if i lay that on now oh, if i can leave that on now so you've got the zero there you've got two four six eight ten um i don't know what the volt voltage is in this battery 11 12 volts up to there um back to zero again if we turn this up to uh five volts per division and when we see when right we now we've got it on to five volts per division um so when i touch the lead on there 
you can see it jumps up two two spaces there Hang on. Let's see if we can get this to stay on there there you go so if that's a zero line you've got five ten and a little bit on there so that's 11 12 volts i suppose it is uh, and then you've got the attenuator function which you can do times 10 which moves it once so lovely stuff right I think what we'll do now is we will see if we can apply it to some car stuff right now I've got it set up on the car um, I've got it connected at the moment to an injector on the control side of the injector um, you've got one little earth one little leak going to earth um, <sighs> We're on a two volts per division um, setting at the moment uh, on a one second per division uh, going across the screen. So let's fire it up and uh, see what we get. As a conclusion, um, I don't think there's going to be a lot of use for it on the modern day car. This is probably the wrong car to test it on. I mean, this car's 30 years old itself. Um, so I think I'm going to leave it and test it on a newer car with some square waves. And... I was just thinking um, while I was waiting for these films to download, um, that the, probably the best applications for this oscilloscope is going to be low voltage 
um, as it does like AC as well, I think it's probably going to be best for things like um, ABS wheel sensors. Um, you'll be able to see the, the wave fluctuating up, up and down the sine wave. Um, so we won't um, we won't send it off to eBay just yet. Um, we we'll leave it until we've had a few more applications uh, to see what it can do. And if I can, I'll post some results for you. Um, computer controlled stuff to see what results I can get. Otherwise, um, I think it might just go back on eBay. Um, but for the time being, now it's just going to look. Um, it's going to look pretty sitting up there on my shelf on my battery charger. So when people come in, they can say, "Oh, we've got an oscilloscope." Whoa. Anyway, that's all for now, guys. Um, I'll catch you again later.